The Suicide Squad introduced us to many obscure villains from DC Comics, and of course most of them ended up dying pretty quickly, don't worry, no spoilers except for the cameos that we're talking about today, uh, but at least they were there in this movie and it was really cool because characters like, oh, TDK and like Javelin that you'd never expect to see in live action, well we just got him, along with a few other characters that did make actually quick cameos in the beginning of the movie at Belle Reve, which of course is the prison where all of these villains were held captive before they joined the Suicide Squad. And first of all, uh, these two we already saw in one of the trailers or featurettes, something like that, um, a couple weeks ago uh, with both Calendar Man and Double Down. I did a full video breaking it down, if you want to hear my more in-depth thoughts on that then definitely go check that out, uh, but let's talk about him again. So. Calendar Man, of course, played by Sean Gunn, the brother of James Gunn, the director of this film, and Sean Gunn actually also did the motion capture for Weasel in this movie, but he also did a quick cameo as Calendar Man in the beginning where he was actually making fun of Polka Dot Man, which honestly I kind of don't get because, first of all, Polka Dot Man is way cooler than Calendar Man, and also on top of that, he could easily take down Calendar Man. Plus, I mean, also just in concept, like, w just as an idea, what do you think would be cooler, a guy who likes calendars or a, a guy with polka dots? I think polka dot man is way cooler, but as you can see, he's got the months of the year tattooed on his forehead, so definitely a cool little cameo for this film. Along with Double Down, who didn't say anything, but at least he showed up in the background. He is a classic Flash villain. Calendar Man is a Batman villain. Um, and you can see, like, the scars on his face, just like in the comics. So that was pretty cool. Um, but again, we've known about those two characters for a while now. But in the movie, there was an unexpected cameo from another really obscure DC villain from the comics with Kaleidoscope. And this is actually a classic Superman and Superboy villain from the comics. And at first, I had no idea who this was. So, of course, I had to look to the inter internet and see if anybody else could point out who it was. And yes, this is Kaleidoscope. And this is a really interesting character. I don't really know much about her, but uh, definitely a very um, flamboyant design, to say the least. Very colorful. Um, she, she looks pretty cool. She didn't do anything. But again, just another cool little cameo that we did have in the background of the Suicide Squad. But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about these cool cameos from some other DC villains in the Suicide Squad? And what other obscure villains would you like to see in the next film? So, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video. And hit the subscribe button so I can keep you up to date on everything that goes on in the DC life.